the expectations, the harder work it has to be put into within those expectations. Is that true in your case with this team? Uh, I guess so. I mean, it's, uh, we just continue to work as hard as we always do. We have a lot of talent on this team. And, you know, the players have gotten to the level that we've gotten for reasons. So it's just it's about coming here and doing what everybody's accustomed to doing in terms of training and preparation. And it seems like you guys already are starting to, to, to melt together and have a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of communication going on in practice, a lot of dialogue, a lot of discussion in terms of you know, where we like to be. This week. It's been a lot of a lot of dialogue. How long do you think this period of adjustment will take? I don't think it's a period of adjustment. It's different than other teams are doing. I think it's something that we'll have to um, really struggle throughout. It's, it's pretty. It's a, it's a pretty seamless transition. Have you heard of the new flopping rule? They just announced it. No, I haven't heard about it. Okay, players are allowed one gimme, but after that, it's incremental fines of about five to ten thousand every time you get one. Six violation could be a suspension. Or so. I'm trying to crack down. What would be your? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'd love to see it have an impact on the game itself. I mean, I think international players, so, you know, technical fouls, or penalty for it. I guess sort of thing. But man, I, I like the rule. I mean, it's it's shameless flopping. It's just not that's, that's a chunk move. Um, you're familiar with it. Lottie kind of pioneered the <laughs> playoffs with Shaq and uh, worked pretty well for Kobe, uh, Kobe with six hours of practice in second practice, the offense 5 on 0 looks exceptional in the low post set. Do you credit that to being able to get these guys into the gym before training camp started for individual breakdown and terminology? Yeah, you know, that had a lot to do with it in terms of guys getting their head start before camp. So we're not coming into camp just completely learning something completely new. Kind of already used to the terminology and used to the With the, uh, what I saw, I saw a wrinkle with the pick and roll before you got into the low post, put in for Nash to see what you can get off that immediately? Yeah. Well, we're, we want to play to everybody's show. Steve's going to be direct in the offense. He's going to have the ball. He's going to put guys in the right positions to be successful and try to manipulate the defense. Kobe, the pieces that this bench has this season, what, what kind of identity do you want this season to have? Um, it should be a feisty bunch you know, coming in and changing momentum. I mean, that's really what you want from the bench. You know, the bench that can come in and kind of alter with the momentum of the game, create turnovers, get easy opportunities. Yeah, and just the makeup of the team, I mean, with Jameson scoring, maybe outside shooting, how do you like those complimentary pieces from the No, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a challenge for them as well as to try to mess their talents and uh, get the most out of each other. Um, but I like the pieces that we've added. Is it almost like you can hardly wait to see what the finished product is going to look like? Well, yeah, but you know, the, the exciting part is the process of getting to that point. The finished product is, you know, obviously brings great results here. This period right now is the most enjoyable. You can't look like a pretty unique situation. You get by something like a hungry guy, like a special job the last couple of days. His attitude, having guys like that, are trying to reassemble stuff on the What can that do for the team and also for you as a you know, guy, kind of the starter is good. Well, I mean, I, I just try to, try to help him out. I try to teach him the hard way a lot of times. And, and also pull him to the side. And, I'll talk to him a little bit about some of the things that I see, some of the things that kind of help him out, help his career out. I think it's, uh, I think it's good for him to be in this environment. You see anything new out of White today? Are you encouraged by the fact that it seems like he's a little bit schedule? Yeah, it just seems like he's progressing more and more. Yeah. I mean, although, you know, this morning was a little bit light. He didn't do a lot of content, but he's, uh, he's engaged in every drill. So. Do you plan on taking part in all the two days this week? Uh, yeah.